it's time to review the only character that got a real buff from their dream awakening with this crossover and that is lucy lucy actually wound up getting some really good stuff with her dream awakenings both of them are really beneficial for her and there's really no wrong answer here and i could see you using either or the one that we're going to be showcasing in this video though will be the earth dream this one will give you the equipment ct speed 10 percent up and also buff up your crit damage by 30 percent however the light dream is just as good since she wants to be on a mono light team this allows her to have six arts per second to the entire team and also the max hp buff isn't too bad the main draw here is definitely the six arts per second that you're able to do now with lucy through the light dream if you don't know anything about lucy she's very very self-explanatory very simple she's just a support character that's able to give art gauge based on the number of light units that are on the team and also able to buff up crit rate by 100 percent another really cool thing that she does is that she's actually able to stack permanent magic damage for the entire team and this does actually stack with star god lisa's magic damage buff so you can have around 450 percent magic damage up in a perfect world oh and by the way before we get any further in the showcase huge shout out to my man caleb for allowing me to showcase his lucy first thing that i tried to actually do with lucy was i just wanted to see if she could beat the memories of the common especially for a team like this where there's hardly no healing and no damage res but this team actually did really well in terms of dps and everything we did actually die because like i said without damage res or you know a shiro on the team or something else it gets extremely hard to be able to make it through this fight but the one thing that was really good was that the magic damage buffs were insane the crit damage buff from her passive also definitely could tell that was in effect helping out Shaltier. and another thing is too that was really cool about this fight is that when we got to the second phase of it and it actually put up the crit res buff Shaltier would be able to go through it because she has the innate 100 crit chance plus she's getting the active buff 100 crit chance from lucy either way though there is a vision here i think maybe if i traded out the mako for a shiro and then just use nothing but like burst heal items on like star god lisa and shiro it might have worked might have i wasn't expecting her to win against this fight mainly just gauging kind of limit testing exactly how good she would be in a lot of different situations next thing i took her up against was something extremely easy which is just uh the special x hyper for fairy tale pretty much the same thing here you know dps damage heals this time i'm running light sestina you can use lucy alongside other like physical damage characters and stuff instead of just only using her with magic damage and it does work really well but i personally will tell you that she definitely wants to be on a team with only magic damage characters if she can since that helps out the team so much also another thing is too we have star god lisa here alongside lucy so it would be so much more beneficial if we were actually running just nothing but magic characters instead of a physical one but i just kind of wanted to show that you could do it if you wanted to but the thing that's crazy is that urza actually killed my light sestina here that's that's wild then for the final thing i really couldn't find anything else to fight i was in this thing scrolling for hours this is actually me scrolling in the footage because i just didn't know what the heck to fight i was thinking maybe chloe maybe i could come up with with a mono light team to fight chloe but i wasn't for sure who the heck provided accuracy so i could be able to do it and then i was like you know what screw it i don't know what to do we're just gonna go fight demi it's very simple very easy i don't gotta bash my head against the wall just in case something doesn't work i know this team could be enemy no problem lucy i feel like still has the same issues that she did back in the day where the main drawback of this character is that she's pretty restrictive she wants to be on a mono light team not only does she want to be on a mono light team she would prefer to be on a mono light magic team which really isn't too much of a problem nowadays we have a lot of good magic damage characters for mono light but i would still say that i really wish the bf emperor was out emperor does also do physical damage but his super art is a magic damage buff and that way it would just be another magic damage dealer on the team too and also that team would now have a defense item slot which would help them out drastically because mono light with this exact setup doesn't have a defense slot which kind of you know is a little bit a little bit scuffed at times especially in a fight like emmy where each threshold is doing massive amounts of damage to you a lot of characters almost died or some of them actually did die at certain thresholds especially at the end star god lisa and shaltir dies at the very end here but lucy and mako clutches it out so yeah definitely not having any type of damage mitigation on the team is very very bad you could run miranda of course to kind of give you some damage mitigation like that and also deal magic damage but miranda of course is a taunt tank you can't use a taunt tank in this specific fight it just wouldn't work overall lucy is still great if you're running on a mono light team she's still going to do fantastic work in terms of her supporting capabilities if you need to buff up magic damage she still can do that and really she just has more partners now especially with the addition of star god lisa to really hone in on the magic damage buffs for the entire team she actually is the best dream awakening 
from Fairy Tale. Still not worth it to summon on her though. Would not summon on Lucy. Don't do that. Um, she's good, but they're not worth your crystals. Hopefully the next batch of characters that come out, whether that be through a crossover or whether that be, you know, a brand new GS character is a little bit exciting because right now it is so freaking dead on GS Global. But either way, that's going to be it for this video, man. Thank you all for coming out. It's been your boy P. If you enjoyed this video, have me check out either one of the other videos probably on the screen right now. Great content. Guarantee you love them. Tell me down below if you guys like the Lucy buff so you guys don't. Like I said, easily the best buff from the entire crossover. The best Dream Awakening. Let me rephrase that. So, yeah. Um, that's going to be it for this one. Thank you all again. And last but not least, you guys already know, don't forget to drink water.